Welcome back to Crim 2 News. We're now about a month out from the primary election, where one of the biggest contests is for Washington State Governor. According to the Public Disclosure Commission, Bob Ferguson's raised nearly $8 million so far. Dave Reichert's in second with nearly $4 million, followed by Mark Mullet and Semi Bird. Most candidates are spending this 4th of July campaigning. Natalie Swaby from our Seattle sister station caught up with some of them. Every 4th of July, we look forward to the parade. We love watching all the people. In Edmonds on the parade route this year are candidates running for governor. Number one issue I hear all the time is uh, public safety, public safety, public safety. Republican Dave Reichert has a 33-year law enforcement career. The first thing is enforce the laws, right? We're in an upside down world. Uh, we, we blame victims and we excuse criminals for their for their actions. There has to be accountability, has to be responsibility. Thank you for your service. It's July 4th. We value our freedoms here in Washington State. Reproductive freedom, freedom to marry who you love. Democrat Bob Ferguson, the state's attorney general, met with voters here too. Take public safety, which we're communicating out as a top issue for this campaign. Washington State literally ranks 50th per capita in number of law enforcement officers we have. Look, that's unacceptable. We need to do a better job of getting law enforcement officers to help keep our community safe all across the state. From the parade route in Edmonds to an ice cream parlor in Issaquah, that's where I caught up with another candidate spending this fourth on the campaign trail. I think it's time to have a small business owner in the governor's office so we have a different mentality of how we run our state agencies. Democrat Mark Mullet, a small business owner who spent the last 12 years as a state senator, is focusing on his top issues. It's affordability. I think people have the same anxiety my wife and I have, which is that their own kids won't be able to afford to raise their own families in the area that they were born and raised and they love more than any other place in this country. And this is our challenge as Democrats is we have to get this right. Really, it comes down to economics, um, which I don't want to say it's surprising because it shouldn't be, especially in the Puget Sound area. It's unaffordable. Republican Simi Bird says his plan involves proper management with third party audits of all state programs. So we have an idea of exactly where the money's going, our gambling tax, our liquor tax, our marijuana tax, all these taxes we collect, but we continue to spend rather recklessly. We need to bring fiscal accountability back to Olympia. Out here, for some voters, a mix of marching bands and campaigning candidates are a welcome sight. I think that it's important to really get to know the person. In Edmonds. So important that everybody get out and vote. Adley Swaby, King 5 News. And mark your calendars. Washington State's primary election day is August 6th. We'll be right back after a short break.